speed dollars, man. Before we get into everything, let's just catch the report card radio up. Let's just catch the report card radio audience up with uh, who you are exactly. Everybody actually saw the so, so Delaware visual, but now let's formally introduce everybody to you, man. Welcome to the welcome to the platform. Thank you, Mikey T. Um, I'm the king of Delaware, man. So, so just break it down for me, man. What was it actually like coming up out of Delaware? Oh man, it was rough. It's like um. Delaware, we don't get get the acknowledge that we supposed to get the props that we should get, like like as a Philly and a New York, because I guess we so small. And back in the day, we didn't have them platforms that uh that everybody else had. We didn't have niggas wasn't coming to our CD with uh with the camera. We didn't have a we run the streets and you know all them DVDs that they had and all that back in the day. They had like more opportunity. We ain't have a cosmic kid. You know what I mean? So it was like, it's different. We we had a lot of talent as well around the same time. We just, you know what I mean? Didn't have as many opportunities as them. But uh, it was pretty much the same grind, man. Um, Running through the streets, battling everybody coming up. Me and my boy Sino, um, he live in Atlanta now. We just, you know, I'm from the north side. So we just go to wherever, 30th Street, and we we kill niggas on 30th Street. Uh, the way it go on west side, east side, we, we kill niggas all over the place. I mean, that's pretty much what it, what it is. You just run into a nigga and you battle a nigga from the city. And it wasn't like, um, it was just more, it, it was just more organic. Everybody, it wasn't like just, it was just right on the spot. It wasn't no plans or like I got a diss for him. It was just like, he giving me thirty, I'm giving him thirty. He giving me thirty, he, I'm until we until somebody run out. The nigga that run out, he lost. You know what I mean? He just keep going. I mean, it was a grind. So was it actually Casanova putting out the So Brooklyn freestyle that made you want to come out and stamp yourself as Delaware, or had you had been repping it for many years? I've been repping Delaware for uh, forever. Like I've been saying, I'm the king of Delaware forever. Because if you go. If you go on my on like uh, Instagram or, or or Facebook, I've been hashtagging King of Delaware for the last two three years. You can go have niggas can go keep hashtagging. I probably been hashtagging King of Delaware since 2017 2016. So can't nobody take that from me. And it's like the things I've done for my city, the platform. Um, only nigga in the city, you know what I mean. You know, niggas hate niggas. Don't never give you props, but I'm just this. This I'm the king of the city. It's niggas that still niggas know like niggas know Gilly the king of Philly, but it's still niggas that just don't want to admit that he the king of Philly. And we know he the king of Philly. Like I'm the king of Delaware. I first nigga, like I said, when every, if everybody go check that back to back, you know what I mean. First nigga, DJ Smalls flew me to Atlanta. First nigga. Philly Fame reached out the door and interview with first nigga DJ K Slay. Um, this is Fifty. I'm the first nigga that start hitting all these major platforms. You know what I mean? Um, that yeah, pretty much. Besides Suki Hana, but like she was on Love and Hip Hop, so um, yeah, so she had a she was from Love and Hip Hop, so that's how she she got popping and all that. I guess from the uh, something else that got her to Love and Hip Hop and. You know that now she be able to get on big platforms, but I'm talking about I rep the city. I, I everything I do, I rep the city. Like the album, I'm working on the King of Delaware album now. So I mean, that should be dro- the plan is to drop the King of Word. That'll be ready on my daughter's birthday, December 13th. The King of Delaware album. So let me ask you, man, what made you actually want to throw that stamp out there? Like I'm Delaware. Like, a lot of guys out there from Delaware probably are actually claiming Philly, but what made you want to stamp yourself as, you know, Delaware? I mean, that's where I'm from. That's where I grew up at. Um, I want to show people it get rough out here just like it get rough in Philly and New York and Atlanta and Houston, anywhere else. It, it get rough. I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, it's just a smaller city. It's, it's, it's crazy, though. You know what I mean? So yeah, that, that's that's what made me stamp it. I mean, I said, because I'm getting tired of niggas going out of town and moving from a different state 
and saying they from Philly and niggas saying they from Atlanta and then they start repping my city. I ain't never, this is what I'm repping. Wherever, when I go to, when I go to Atlanta to do interviews with DJ Smalls, he put, I, I mean, he put in the joint. I'm from, I'm from Delaware. I don't rep nothing else. No Philly, no Atlanta, no Houston, no LA. I, I rep my city. Yeah, let, let's talk about the king of Delaware status. If somebody was to ask you, what is it that actually makes you the king of Delaware? I told you, check my accolades, man. I told you the different, I'm the first nigga that hit all these big platforms. I'm the first nigga that, that opened up these doors for everybody. A lot of people ain't know about the city until me. A lot of people ain't know about the city until me. When I when I did an interview with DJ Smalls, he said, man, I see you been grinding for a while, man. I, until I seen you on World Star and stuff, I ain't know nothing about nobody else. I seen you. You know what I mean? Same thing. Shout out to DJ Thurl from This Is 50. It, it's me. They ain't know nothing until me. I mean, a lot of niggas, they seen me, and they was like, now we're going to start paying our eyes on the city. You know what I mean? So I'm the one that opened people's eyeballs open. You know what I mean? So that, 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 and then that, this my shit. That's why I say this my shit. You know what I mean? Okay, all right. So I want to keep going with this. Like, what is it that actually, like, defines, like, a, a king from a certain region? Like, you know, we got the king of the South, the king of New York. What do you think qualities the kings from each of these areas has? I think them, them kings, they got, we, I, they, they open the door for other people. Me, I'm, I'm grinding hard, not for niggas to hate, man. I'm grinding hard to not forget about niggas that's in my city. I'm, I think kings, they grind and they open doors for other people. So I'm doing all this stuff, you know what I mean, out of the unordinary to, you know, to make my city known, to make, you know what I mean, to bring more opportunity to the city and get, yeah, so everybody can get a chance. I want to see everybody win. That's, that's what a king supposed to do. You know what I mean? You want the whole city to level up. And that's one thing I seen Gil, that Gilly do. He took me to DJ Cosmic Kid. He was the first guy to do a, 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 a song with um, Lil Uzi. Like, he made, he did a lot of things for people. That's what I'm, and that's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm trying to open doors for me and everybody else. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Definitely a great answer right there. You know, put some explanation on it. But let's let's put our stamps on some of the kings in the music industry, though, man. Okay. I'm gonna, we're gonna take a look at a couple different areas. Let's let's start it off with the king of the south. A lot of people would say, Ti. What's your take? Yeah, man. Hey, you got T.I., you got Jizzle, you got, ah, man, it's just so many different, I mean, we get, I mean, where we going, like, how are we going to do this, though? It's just so many different ways you can go, but, ah. So you saying, like, are you saying there could be, like, a king in the street? There could be uh, potentially like a king of like uh, the the industry portion of Jeezy uh, G- and Tip, man. They neck and neck, man. I yeah, Jeezy and Jeezy and Tip, man. They them God. I, I feel like they the kings of the south, man. When it comes to Jeezy and Tip, because they 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 laid a big platform for people. Ti, man. People can't forget about what he. I know he's doing that podcast thing now. Shout out to Ti, but Ti was tearing the streets up. Like, you know I mean, I, I say, yeah, I'm going to go with T.I., man. The king of the South is T.I. Because all the things he did, he gave a lot of people opportunities as well. That's right. Definitely right, man. Pimp Squad, Click. Both of those Absolutely. artists had great albums, too. Absolutely. He even had a situation with Meek before. And then, you know, I guess they, and then Meek ended up going to Maybach, whatever he was doing. But at first, Meek was grand hustle for a little bit. Remember that? That's a fact. Yep, that's yeah. a fact. Yeah, uh, I, I fuck with Tip. So let's uh, let's head up to the East Coast, Speed. Let's head up to the East Coast, Speed Dollars. Uh, who are we talking for the King of New York? Who are, are we going? Are we going right now, or are we going? What we what we doing? Like, how are we going to do it? Is we going right now, or is we going back then? Like. I guess we got to kind of look at it like the Godfather King of New York type style. I mean, I don't, man, the Godfather is hove, man. 
of of New York, we the Hove. I could definitely agree with you on that, man. Got to be Hove, but if we talking on some noun shit. Oh man, it's just, it's, it's so much music out here, man. It's like right now, I I only I, I really don't I, on the East Coast a king. Man, it, it's a couple thoughts in my head. I can't I can't really say one person. Who who are some of the artists from New York right now that are inspire you inspiring you not to break away from the current topic, but. I, I got an old soul, so you know, Kiss is my favorite, favorite, favorite rapper. Yeah, I mean, he inspired me more. That's my biggest inspiration, Jada Kiss. That's like why I started doing this shit because of him. But um, probably like Kiss, Hove, Uncle Murder, um, guy like Uncle Murder really been grinding for years. Guys like that, I appreciate. Because I still don't think guys like Uncle Murder get his just due. Or matter of fact, I take that back. He's just starting to get his just due. Uncle Murder been grinding for years, and he's. I feel like he's just just starting to get his just due. So, uh, Fred the Godson, rest in peace, Fred the Godson. Uh, I feel like Fred, one of them other guys I looked up to, but I don't feel like he got. He ain't get his full just due. Yeah, I mean, it, it was still coming. Like, that's what I'm saying. Guys like that, I like them type of guys, man. I like them type of guys. Um, what I say? Uncle Murda, uh, Mano. Um, you know, I still I still mess with the whole D Block, uh, Styles P, Sheik Looch. Uh, you can't DMX, man. You can't you can't forget the dog. Um. Yep, X is out right now, it, definitely. It's just it's just so hard to show because I'm not trying to forget everybody because somebody be trying to bash me off of. I'm just saying there's just so many people out there that they get a love to. There's so many classics. Yeah, you know I mean, um, Big Pun, Nas, you know what I mean? French Montana. French Montana, he come with them hits like crazy. Yep. You know what I mean? So yeah. you got a dope you got a dope list. So we got we got TI for the King of the South. We've got Jay Z, the King of New York. Now yeah, let's yeah. let's branch down to Philadelphia, man. The King of Philly? It's evident, right? Yeah. The King of Philly is Gilly. As mentioned earlier. That's Gilly. Absolutely. Like the King of Delaware is me, Speed Dollars. Yeah, that's that's evident. What you, what you want to do? You want to do the because I noticed we ain't do the king of the uh the king of the you know Snoop Dogg Dr. Dre we ain't do the king over there in the West. Yeah, the king the king of the West Coast. Yeah. Um, Game whoo, Cube. Right? What you said? Game Ice Cube. Kendrick, boy. Um, Kendrick. Yeah, but if we gonna go back like that. I think right now it's Kendrick, but back in the day you got uh and let oh man, I'm sorry about look, see I don't people going I am sorry back not to switch subjects, but I gotta give fifty his credit too, cause fifty was doing his thing and when we talked about the South, I gotta give Lil Wheezy his credit because he was doing his thing too. You know what I mean? Not to discredit them too. They was cooking. Wayne Wayne had shit on Smash for like ten summers. You know what I mean? So but back to the um, back to the West. Yeah, you got Snoop, Game. Oh man, Dre, Nipsey Hussle, Ice Cube, N.W.X. Like you could just keep going, man. It don't it don't stop either. Possibly Nipsey, uh, Dr. Dre, Dr. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. I said Dr. Dr. Dre, Nipsey Hussle. That's Nipsey Hussle, and I feel like he didn't get his just due yet. He ain't get to where we was supposed to see him at. You know what I mean? That's another guy. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. So, you know, Speed Dollars, man. So now that we've got your, you know, your explanation on your area, you told us a little bit about Delaware. You know, we've got some of your favorite artists. You know, right now it's evident that 2020 is off to a rough start. It's rough. It's rough. Um, What's everything just, like in Delaware, man? Can you break that down for us? You said what it's like in Delaware with this, the Corona thing. Yeah. 
oh man, it's rough. Same thing like everybody else. Everybody think because I, I, people, man, it kind of gets me, man. Like it, it, it kind of get me. People, they, uh, people, they still think that they'd be like, damn, Delaware. I thought that was somewhere in the country where you go retire and you just. They don't think they don't know about Wilmington, man. It's just we just as bad as anything. Like what was it last year or the year before? We was like number one in killings. Yeah, I mean, because it's much smaller, so of course. But the killings was way. We was like ranked number one. You know what I mean? So I mean, the Corona thing is like everybody else. I mean, we got a we got hoods like everybody else. When we go in stores, everybody got you got to be masked up. You can't go in the stores. You go in the city. You got to have your mask on or, you know what I mean? You get a fine, you know what I mean? Same thing. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's real crazy out here right now. You know, in your new visual Stillmatic, you're actually wearing a mask. You know, how much of, how much has all of this affected your music? This ain't affect my music at all, man, because the grind don't stop, the work don't stop, you know what I mean? So, um... I, I believe in creating my own opportunities, and that, that's how I made it as far as I am right now, creating my own opportunities. It's up to you, you know what I mean? So I don't make nothing. There's no excuses for me to go to the studio. I mean, it's just, if it's just me and the engineer vibing, he on the computer, I'm in the booth. You know I mean, we still, yeah, This I feel like this one, I'm making my best music. I'm focused. Um, life don't stop, man. Money still got to be made. Bills still got to be paid. Shit don't stop. I mean, you can't really go to the, can't nobody go to the landlord or wherever, or whatever you got. And you can't say, man, because of the coronavirus, we're going to have to pause on bills. That shit don't stop. They don't want to hear that. So, I mean, the work don't stop. That's why the grind don't stop. Yeah, man, I'll say this. It's great to see you release some music back to back. No pun intended. You know, over That's some of the most timeless classics. Mm-hmm. You got the Beanie uh, Siegel instrumentals, Nas, as I mentioned. Uh, that trick, that back to back. Yep, yep. How how did these artists influence you? You know, and and who else actually influenced you? I know you said Jada earlier. Um, like I said, Jada. A lot of I got old souls, so a lot of older cats like man, Slick Rick, Big L, Slick Rick telling stories, Big L. Like I said, Big Pun. Oh, man, Noriega, that's another name I forgot. See, it's like you can't name everybody. You can't, like a lot of them, they they, they um they inspire me a lot, you know what I mean? Now, Speed Dollars, you're obviously a hip-hop head, man, but now I got to ask you to break, you've mentioned a lot of names, man, but I need to ask you to break that list down. I need, uh, can we get your your top five list for the everybody here listening on Report Card Radio? My top five foot. From East, South, all, all time. My top list favorite rappers. Yeah, we're not going to break down the different regions at this point. Let's just let's just do an overall top five right now. Oh, man. We want to do Kiss. Hove. Oh, my gosh. This is just mine. You know what I mean? Kiss. Hove. I'm a, I'm a big Meek fan, man. I can't really. I like Meek, man. Oh my god. Kiss, Hove, Meek. Um Let's go. Nas, Kiss, Hove, Meek, Nas, and let's go X. DMX. That list is hard. And that's just because you put the pressure on me, you put me on the spot, but it's a lot more if I could, I would. No, I appreciate you putting DMX on that list as well. I had to, man. I had to. I'm not really a fan. I mean, I ain't really, not to knock nobody. I like what's going on, but I like people that pit. They actually, you know what I mean, care about the music they put out. A lot of these rappers now, I feel like they don't, they just making it because it's a platform to make money. I don't, I think a lot of these rappers now, they just trying to, they trying to milk it as much as they can and get out. That's why you got guys, you can see, you can see, oh man, and I even I forgot them dip set and all of them, but shout out to dip set. You know what I mean? But um I forgot like like you 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 could tell um who genuinely care about this music and appreciate it. Like like I go back to KISS. He been in this game over twenty years. Like 
Nope, you know what I mean? No pun intended. He's been in this game for a long time. And he's still going. And that show you who 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 survived and who didn't, who really appreciated it and who didn't, who was in here for the money. And we all here for the money. Everybody wanna make money, but who here more for the love as well. You know what I mean? So those are the ones I appreciate, you know what I mean? Wow, that's that's right, man. So so as I've mentioned, you you've got a bunch of new visuals that you've dropped recently. Are you building towards uh what are you building towards right now? What can the people expect coming from the King of Delaware? The King of Delaware album. Oh, and don't forget me, y'all. I got the, the King of Delaware t shirts, hoodies. Y'all can cop, DM me, follow me on the gram, hit me up, man. Don't don't be scared to show love, man. You ain't got hate, man. Don't be scared to support. Don't be scared to show love. Everybody wanna hate. Don't be scared, man. Show love, man. 